guys, the Fishing Fanatic here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to tie a walleye streamer with a stinger hook. So to start this off, I'm just going to start my thread. I'm going to wind my thread down to almost where the curve starts, but not, not right there. And now with my stinger hook I have, I'm just going to attach the line that I cut off. go. And I'm going to tie this down on here. Just a few light wraps. That way you know where you're going to place your stinger. So I'm going to pull it back to around there. And I'm going to give it a few tighter wraps to keep that in. There we go. Now I'm going to take the line I have, put it through the eye of the hook, pull that through, and then tie that down. And then the two lines that you have here, the excess line, you're going to cut that off. tie that down and then wind your thread all the way to the top of the hook have this down I'm just going to tighten my vise here because it's not that tight down again then back up and I'm really securing this down because this thread here is pretty much what's holding the stinger hook on but it's really strong it holds it on I haven't broken this stinger hook has never broken for me when I'm using this for walleye so it stays in pretty solid. Okay, and there we go. Just gonna do a couple wraps down here. There we go. And then before I do any more, I like to put a dab of head cement right on the stinger hook and the hook also. I'm just going to open up my head cement now. And put a little bit on here. That way the line down here doesn't slide around. Bring it all around here. And a bit on here. And now I'm just going to hold it here for a bit till the head cement dries, which is pretty quick. But I'll get back to you guys once it's dried. Okay, so now that it's dried, you're going to wind your line up to the top. And get your chenille. 
And you're going to want a good amount of this because it is really thin. And you're going up, or you're going, actually going down the hook and then back up to the top. So we're going to cut a good amount of that off. So there we go. And we're going to tie this down. There we go. And then just wrap this all the way down and back up. Now back up. I like using this sparkly chenille because it gives the body a shine and it kind of adds a little bit of a minnow effect to this this um, streamer. But it's overall a great streamer to use for walleye and other I haven't tried it for anything else but you could probably try it for other things I've only used this for walleyes there we go trim off the excess there and then I'm gonna give this a little bit of a head even though we're gonna tie our bucktail onto there and in there okay so now you're gonna grab your bucktail so I'm using some bright green and black for this one so I'm gonna grab that now this right on here a couple loose wraps at first just to get it in place and then secure it in with some tight wraps here Cut this on an angle. Try to get mostly all of it off. Or whatever's left, I'll just tie down. that sides in and then now we're gonna take the black bucktail
tie that down nice and tight. Give it a few more just to secure it. Because sometimes with bucktail, if you don't secure them down enough, the hairs will start to just fall out. And that really sucks because it ends up ruining your fly and you have to start all over. So I'm going to cut these again, cut the hairs off. Okay, now we're going to tie all these hairs in now at the front, get this nice and secure. Alright, just secure the front end. Now you can also, if you want, you can put eyes on this. Um, I choose not to. Kind of adds well it depends on if you're just painting your eyes on with head cement or if you're putting like the jig eyes on whatever you want you can put either on but I'm just gonna leave it without and then we're just gonna secure this in nice and tight here Make sure all the hairs are secure. And just kind of fill it in. That way none of the hairs at the front here are showing. Okay. And there. There you go. Just going to give it a quick whip finish. There we go. Now just give it a nice dab of head cement. And there it is. That's how you tie a walleye streamer with a stinger on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more.